I'm Professor Susie Thomas, and I teach courses in the counseling department with graduate students, and I also teach uh, collegiate seminar. And um, all of the courses that I teach rely heavily on interpersonal communication, uh, connection, and these are skills that often lend themselves really well to an in-person classroom environment. But what I realized I was doing was trying to mirror the in-person classroom in a Zoom environment. And that meant that we were all really tired and that I really wasn't using technology in a way that could support the learning process for the students. So by the time summer started, I knew that I had a lot of learning to do. So I enrolled in Tech Camp and I applied for a Philippi Endowment Grant. I took some professional development courses outside of St. Mary's in order to learn how to use psychodrama and expressive arts in uh, a Zoom setting in my counseling courses. I also attended 11 of the summer faculty development workshops that were offered to uh, those of us who work at St. Mary's. And I joined a mentoring group led by Heidi Marie Rambo in the School of Education with five other faculty members. We met weekly throughout the fall in order to test out new tech tools. So I transformed three courses for the fall semester. I started by uh, really familiarizing myself with Google Workspace and using all things Google in my teaching. Um, I also used um, various things like um, iMovie trailers and Adobe Spark. And I used these tools as creative ways to welcome the students into the classroom and also as ways to share messages with them throughout the semester. One of the first um, tools I tried out was uh, taking the iPad that I got from the Philippi Endowment Grant, which I had not used before in my teaching. And I used that as a second screen to create a Zoom meeting um, with the Baby Yoda uh, figure from The Mandalorian as my guest. And I walked the students through a Zoom tutorial because many of them were brand new to a Zoom classroom as well. And they didn't know how to uh, use the basic functions. Another thing that I implemented in my Zoom classroom, I teach uh, group theory and practice. Obviously that sounds like a very in-person experiential um, activity, but in a Zoom classroom, I really had to think about how to transform that um, so that it would work in the Zoom space. One example that I used was um, intentionally having students turn their cameras off and turn their cameras on for uh, psychodrama, drama therapy, playback theater, and gestalt experiments. Um, we also used a blank uh, screen um, with, the, with the iPad that I had in order to create a virtual empty chair to do a gestalt experience. And um, another thing that we did was we used the renaming feature uh, creatively in the Zoom classroom. For example, in an Adlerian group session, um, the students renamed themselves based on their birth order. And then they were able to interact with each other from those perspectives, as opposed to from their, their names. Well, I plan to continue using many of these tools moving forward. I don't consider this um, experience to have been just a, a patch, patching things in a classroom and then going back to normal. In addition, in the field of counseling, telehealth has become a, a, a really major important avenue for delivering counseling services. And so I think that this cohort of our graduate students, they really have a skill set that no other group has had before. And I plan on intentionally teaching them how to use telehealth skills in the various courses that I teach moving forward. I think the most important shift for me has been an internal one. I really value lifelong learning. For example, in the last couple of weeks, I learned how to use uh, Adobe Spark to make videos. And I made the thank you video um, for, this, uh, for this experience. I felt strongly about thanking um, the people who have supported me in this process over the last year and using technology uh, in order to do that.